Hi, welcome back to HK2.com. My name is Sipski, your host. We're now in the second part of the video where I will actually get the Furman dual fuel generator to work. I have my propane tank ready to get this started. Okay, so we're going to put in the engine oil. We're going to check the battery, make sure, sure it's fully charged. And then I'm going to hook it up to my propane tank, get it working. And the reason I bought the Furman uh, dual fuel is because the fact that it works with the propane tank. That's very important to me. I want to have a fuel that I could store away for one or two years and get it started, get it working like that, right? The gasoline, on the other hand, for example, you can't fill it and put it there for more than six months because the gasoline itself will degrade. Now, you can add additive to it, but I don't like that option. I prefer to just hook up to a fuel and get it working. So that's a better option for me. That's why I bought this um, generator. I'm hoping to get it to work and I'll show you right now how to do that. Let's get started. All right, so let's get started. Now, before we do that, we need to check whether the battery is fully charged. It's right now when I measure it, it's 11.78. Let me show you right now. And that's very important because if you're gonna run it on the propane, tank and for it to get started it actually uses the electrical spark so you would have to use a battery to do that in fact the manual even mentioned that if you look under page 30 it talks about battery charging and maintenance very important to read the manual thoroughly and uh, you'll see that and that's why I suspect as well I remember watching a lot of video they say that they couldn't get their propane tank to work and the key here is that the lead acid battery is not fully charged it falls below 12 volt you want to get the battery up to at least 12.4 i think above 12 volt would be good but i would say 12.8 would be the ideal situation get that going and then you can start the propane if you're running on the propane okay that's very important okay so let's char uh, check the um the battery now notice that the first time before you start getting it to work notice how they took out the negative terminal Okay, so that's not plugged in yet. You're supposed to put that in. The reason for that is they didn't want to drain the battery. But with lead acid battery over time, after six months, for example, it will drain anyway because that's the nature of lead acid battery, not like lithium battery. All right, so let me check the, um, see, okay, let me show you right now. Here it's showing the 11.78 which is not good enough you want it to be above 12 volt if it's possible um, it might work but I don't know what is the starting voltage to get this electrical uh, igniter work so it's 11.78 I want to bring it up to 12.8 if possible and I actually got a battery here this is another lead acid battery what I'm gonna do is I can hook up the positive with the positive and the negative with a negative to at least get it above 12 volt. Okay, let's do that right now before I put in the uh, propane holes and the propane tank and the engine oil, okay? We want to make sure that the battery is fully charged or at least above 12 volt. Let's do that right now. Okay, so it's now going to charge and I'm going to measure it. Yeah, so it's climbing slowly, but as you can see, if I measure this battery here, I can see it's 12.3. So I'm gonna let it charge for a couple of minutes to bring this up to 12 volt at least. And then I'm gonna hook up the uh, hose to the propane tank. Now, even before that, what I wanna do is to put in the engine oil. So I have it ready. There it is, this is provided. This is their brand, Furman engine oil. Now, if, if you run out of it, you don't have to get the Furman. You can uh, get one that is 10 W30 engine oil. This is when it's provided. And this one um, only allow you to fill one time because this is a 208 cc engine and requires one bottle of this. It comes with the uh, funnel, plastic funnel. So we're gonna do that in a couple of minutes, okay? We're gonna wait till this is charged, maybe up to above uh, 12 volt. I'm gonna let it charge for at least five minutes using this uh, 
lead acid battery okay all right so let's uh, check the voltage on the battery again as you can see here it's showing 12.8 okay 12.08 i mean as you can see yep except 12.05 okay that's good enough as long as it's above 12 volt i think it should be okay and um, even 11.8 i'm not sure i would probably be okay with that but just in case i have an issue with starting the propane tank i want to make sure that it's you know at least have 12 volt uh, voltage in there okay so we're going to do that so let's uh next thing i want to do is to plug in this uh, negative terminal into the battery okay there we go okay there we snap that in it's good good to go okay so we have now the positive positive is always uh plugged in and then now we plug in the negative which come in default as uh, being pulled out all right so now i just plugged it in okay so let's turn this around yeah, there it's pretty heavy like i said okay so you can see here is the um the bottom i'll bring it down for you to show you okay so let's see all right okay so here it is this is the engine oil area we're gonna unplug that um we're supposed to add it all the way to the level h which is almost to the top there okay so let's pour this uh, engine oil 10w30 engine oil which comes with it all right okay so now we remove the cap now i need to uh fill up okay now just do it slowly because you don't know when you're gonna overfill it Now, according to the manual, I think you fill it up and then 35 hours later, out using the engine, you're supposed to clean it by draining the engine oil and then do it again with another batch, another bottle of the 10W30. And I would actually uh, drain it if I'm not going to use it for, you know, at least a couple months. Like, for example, if I store it in the winter time. I might uh, take out the engine oil. Okay, let's just um, let's see so far. Okay, it looks like it's still low. Okay, I, it's not very good indication. I can't really tell, but it looks like I still see that it's low here. So let's keep going with this. I think you're supposed to fill up the whole bottle because it's 600 milliliter for 208 cc. The whole bottle is used up. Yeah. Yeah. Good. It, it fills all the way up. Yeah. That's good. Okay. So you fill it all the way up. What is it? This is a 532 milliliter. Will be enough to fill up engine reservoir here. Engine oil reservoir. Okay. So let's get it hooked up with my hose. Okay. So let's hook this up. What we need to do is take out the rubber plug there and connect the holes. Now I need to unwind this hose. Make sure you don't cut the rubber hole for sure. You're gonna end up just creating a leak. Leak. Okay, so be careful with that. Okay, so what we do is screw this in like that, making sure it's tight. Using um, the wrench to tighten it. Okay. Okay, good. Now make sure that the uh, the tank is um, the tank is uh, closed. Okay, so just make sure you screw it in properly. <clears throat> then what we want to do is now turn to the um, the propane and then set the choke lever which is on the other side which is this side here okay let me show you let's bring this on the other side all right okay so the choke lever is here you want to bring it to the start so it's now set it to start okay this is run so set it to start and then next step is to pull 
the cord. Oh, oh God. Okay, so we need to open the tank. Okay. Make sure we open the tank. Yeah. There we go. Okay. And then we need to turn on the propane. And then make sure you set the choke to start. Okay, start position and pull. Okay, it's done. Hmm. It's not working. All right, so the overall impression that I got from Furman H03652, this model here, dual fuel generator, it's hard to start for the propane. I think I saw online, not everybody could start it. I was less that I was able to get it to work and it's not working consistently. I let, once it start running, I let it run for 10, 15 minutes. So it's working now, but I had to call the technical help and they were pretty helpful and got it to run. So if you're not a person who knows about spark plugs, um, all these terminology that usually you know technician uses, it's going to be hard. I would say you need to know a little bit of uh, background of all these components are in case you need to um, go through with them. Technically, they were going to ask you to do all these things and you should be able to figure out how to do it. If not, you might be in you might get stuck so that's if you get to work i think this is a very amazing uh, machine this generator especially if you want to run a propane tank and i think um, getting it to run you can generate over 4000 watts i think that's it somewhere there yeah i think it's around 4000 watt of power and that as you can see i was able to run my uh, ac portable ac that's um 450 watt hour AC. Now the starting voltage is probably higher than that, it's probably around close to 2000, but this thing can handle it, this uh, generator. As well as running my um, uh, radiant heater that was also working. I, I plugged two of them at the same time and it was working great. So what do I give this generator uh, for the propane? If you know a bit of the technicality and you know, the name of the component and you're able to go follow through with the technician, I would say this would be an 8 out of 10 for sure. It was a bit harder at the beginning to get it started, but once you get it started, I think it's quite simple. Now, if you're not technical, I don't think I recommend buying this. It's kind of harder to get started with propane. I haven't tried the um, gasoline, so and I'm going to avoid that for now uh, because I don't want to be draining the gasoline if I'm not using it in a couple months right from now. So I'm going to be running on the propane tank and uh, that's how I'm going to use this unit, right? I hope you find this helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll talk to you soon. EducateTube.com. Bye.